Hello there, beautiful soul. Today I am recording this on August 2nd. It is a Sunday night. And I want to first and foremost say happy August to everyone out there. I hope that this month brings changes in your life and、um, good health and good things happening in the world. And then you just flow with the currents of your own energy that is helping you ascend. And I just want to go briefly here to talk about this full moon in Aquarius happening tomorrow, Monday, Monday, August 3rd. It will be at 8 59 a.m. in Pacific Los Angeles zone time. 11 59 a.m. East Coast. Check whatever time other in the world it would be. It is a very powerful moment. And I just want to talk briefly about it because, as you all know, if you, for whoever follows me and everything that I'm doing, I just came back from this Texas trip on the road. It was incredible. It was very exhausting energetically, but it was so beautiful, so healing, so connecting with family, with my tribe. So many amazing things happened, and I will be going in another video into more details on all about my trip <laughs> for all of you. I am still barely recovering. I got here yesterday, and I've lost my voice out of the trip. It was、um, just, it was tough during the drive because of the heat. And、um, uh, this video, particularly, is just more about this upcoming full moon. And as you can see, I'm here with no makeup on, just like, you know. Recovering, have so much cleaning to do. There's so much messes and everything like that. But I just wanted to do a live. It's been a while since I didn't do a live. I've been gone for two weeks on the road, literally. We drove all the way to Texas, to Amarillo, to New Mexico to visit my beloved family and my friends. And it was incredibly amazing, to say the least. And I can't wait to do any more of it. And please check out my GoFundMe.com slash Ancient Light and see more about it so that you can help me if you support everything I do to get Ancient Light on the road to do more of these trips around, you know, the lands and visiting people. Bring my healing to you. So you can help me by just donating if you are able to. I appreciate even your support, your comments, your likes, your shares. Are still support that I truly appreciate as well. So you can support me in many ways, and I appreciate that. So I want to just talk briefly about this upcoming full moon in Aquarius. Very powerful to say the least. Aquarius is ruled by Uranus. Uranus is the energy of freedom, of liberation. In every single sense, on a higher level, higher elevation. It is all about world changes, complete enlightenment. This full moon happens to be at 11 degrees of Aquarius and the sun at 11 degrees, opposing each other on a T square, which means. That this full moon in Aquarius is a complete 11 11 opening portal. 11 11 are the opening portals to higher dimensions, to higher intelligence, which is exactly what Aquarius energy is all about. Aquarius is an air element, and it's all about being unique, different, innovative. So, for this upcoming full moon, it's a great idea to tap into your own vortex energy. So, you can do meditations with Merkabas, 
meditations with mandalas, with Sri yantras, all of these type of vortexes are incredibly powerful to tap into during this upcoming Aquarius full moon. This T-square, what is bringing is an energy of bringing duality into balance. This full moon is all about activation of intuition. That is what Aquarius is all about. Inspiration, ideas, and manifesting them into reality by utilizing this opening portal to activate through these vortexes. Aquarian energy is a very multifaceted and multidimensional energy. So this energy is all about activating your higher self and bloom as a flower, all your dimension, all your possibilities, all your talents, all your ideas, all at once, just opening them up and allowing them to travel into these opening portals or vortexes so that they activate your crown chakra. Aquarius is very much connected to the higher energy centers, especially the crown chakra. We are in a 2020 year of reset where we're entering a brand new decade on 2021. So it is in this year where everything recalibrates, regenerates, and reforms for in order to a new thing to ascend. So tapping into this Aquarius energy, this Aquarius full moon, it's a great way to manifest all these new innovative ideas that can take your life at another level, a higher level of intelligence. Remember, our crown chakra, our crown corona chakra is being attacked and bombarded by this so-called COVID-19 and all its deceptions. So understand that there is an attack onto the crown chakra as there is an activation at the same time. It's a matter of what you are going to tap into. Are you going to tap into, into the fear they give on TV and on the news to, and to allow that they attack your crown chakra and your intelligence and the ability to tap into higher dimensions? No. Or are you going to tap into this full moon so that you can actually activate your higher self and elevate? This is a beautiful energy of elevating yourself to multidimensional perceptions and ways of seeing life. If you are not working, if you are not busy, and you have the time to sit down during this time of this full moon, I suggest light up a white candle and a black candle. I would light both candles. Great crystal to use during this time is Moldavite. Moldavite is an incredibly higher dimension, extraterrestrial, cosmic crystal tactite that is incredible to use during an Aquarian activation. So make sure you use your incense, your element air is present as Aquarian is an element air. And put an intention, write it down on a bay leaf, on a piece of paper, sit there and chant and picture this thing. Sit with your Margaba, with your Mandala, and tap into this 1111 portal opening at this time. And write down what you want and burn it. And just let it out into the universe and let the universe work its magic. I want to thank you for being here. I am still not ready to do my videos. As you can see me, if you can hear my voice, it is still recovering. And <laughs> even though I am not, you know, fixed up and having any makeup on and not singing or anything right now, because I'm just barely getting back from this trip and acclimating. I just wanted to send this message because of this full moon is coming up very quickly and I don't want to miss at least one message for you during this so that I can help you and remind you that to tap into this message. I will be back 
like I will be doing another video with more details on my trip and showing these beautiful baskets and gifts that I was things that I was gifted by my beautiful family and friends and so please just stay tuned to my stay tuned to my videos if you are not my friend on Facebook I highly recommend that you friend me there I do a lot of live videos on Facebook and I'm very very engaged in everything that I do so please make sure that you friend me there's a link to my Facebook attached here to my YouTube channel so please friend me there and stay connected I will be back with more and remember have a blessed beautiful manifesting full moon Aquarius on this August 3rd happy August I love you dearly unconditionally Aho Ashe Namaste Mention Light